Hey YouTube, uh, this is David. Wanted to talk about, um, just to talk about, not do a full review, but do a quick video on uh, PX4 Storm uh, by Beretta. Uh, this is my 9mm. Uh, it's the full length version. Uh, obviously, if you couldn't tell already, the clip is out. Um, the magazine didn't have anything inside, or I don't have a magazine inside and there are no bullets in the gun as well. Uh, we purchased this gun and the subcompact, I'll show that here in a second. Uh, maybe about a year ago, uh, we got it from uh, Butts Gun Shop, which is a great uh, website for uh, handguns, uh, ammunition, anything gun related, uh, rifle related, uh, that you could totally uh, check out. Um, we bought the uh, guns, uh, they shipped to a local uh, pawn shop, went in, did the paperwork uh, once the guns arrived and um, was a fairly easy process. This is the first time I've ever purchased a gun. Uh, these are the first guns I've ever owned uh, and um, I can tell you I probably have shot about 100, 130, no. I lie. About 400 rounds uh, on this uh, gun, and it uh, totally has never jammed. It uh, has never really given me any sort of issue. Um, it's very, 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 uh, I don't know, user friendly for not ever owning a gun before. Uh, again, it's very user friendly, again, just so that everybody sees that there are no bullets in the chamber. Um, it has the uh, dual uh, triple sights, I can't recall what it's called off, right off the bat, but uh, it works great. Um, again, I've gone to the shooting range a few times and have not had a problem with it. I feel like how I aim or where I aim, the bullet goes, uh, and that's probably important. the most important thing to me. Uh, make sure that the accuracy is, um, is there. So again, Beretta PX4. Uh, Storm uh, came with a 17 round clip. Came actually with two of them. Unfortunately, not too long ago, my Jeep got broken into, and uh, that was in the car along with the subcompact one, and um, they were stolen. Luckily, I did not have the guns inside the car, I just had the, uh, the clips. Either way, I bought some from Cabela's. They should be arriving pretty soon. Um, it's fairly expensive. They're 40 bucks a uh, for a clip, so keep that in mind. Um, this is the subcompact. Uh, I had taken this little doohickey out because it's the uh, the mechanism mechanism that allows the gun to be field stripped. I won't be doing that in this video only because I don't have a camera that I can mount yet, but I will be doing that here uh, later. This is a subcompact. This is uh, purchased for my wife. Um, Again, there is no clip and there is no round in the chamber. I'll do that here in a second again so you can see. But just to give you a uh, size difference, uh, I can tell you that uh, they both feel really, really great uh, in the hand. We did change out the, uh, the back strap. There's a way to take out this clip here, what you can barely see, but there's a metal clip. Uh, you pull out and it comes with a couple of different options. Uh, we went with uh, what we currently have just because that felt uh, the greatest uh, comfort for my wife and I. Um, I can tell you that from both, this seems heavier. There seems to be a lot more, I don't know, you probably can't see this really good on the video, but this is all metal uh, on top. Um, and this is uh, plastic, I don't know, uh, polymer that they use uh, so it's very top fit heavy this one is anyway for me uh, it shoots great it feels super awesome I'm um, I don't know six foot tall uh, I don't have very you know manly grip but it uh, it actually feels really great I'll show you the clip that came with this because it actually as you can tell right now once I my pinky comes down too far but the clip has a little extender part and it makes uh, for a super comfortable grip. Uh, with the uh, full length one, 
Uh, that's not an issue. I mean, this thing just feels great in my hand. Um, uh, I'm repeatedly doing this, obviously, because uh, there is a safety here. Uh, what, this is one of the really great things that uh, I wanted to have on a pistol. Um, I wanted to have a safety for us to obviously have uh, that extra level of security. But again, the grip, this it feels great. Um, Shooting-wise, I think that, uh, again, being an amateur, so forgive me, YouTube, for just not using the correct terms and whatnot, but this uh, fires um, pretty accurately. It doesn't have a huge uh, kickback. Um, the subcompact, though, and probably because of its size, it uh, it does have a, a pretty big uh, kick. Um, my wife, though, has shot it a few uh, times as well, and she just really hasn't complained anything about it. Uh, but there is a difference, obviously, between the uh, subcompact and the uh, the full-length one. Um, oh, yeah, I just wanted to show again. Nothing in the chamber. Um, the interesting part about both of these guns um not this one so much but the full length the barrel that barrel uh twists as um uh, the round it gets shot um i can't recall why bretta did that or if there's any really good significance to it but uh it twists uh when it gets shot uh whereas this one uh, it just like falls back. Uh, the barrel inside um, it actually kicks back. So let me show you the clip that comes with it. Uh, this is a 13 round clip that came with a subcompact. I have it fully loaded, just 9mm. Um, it has this little thing on the bottom. That little kickstand makes all the difference when it's inside and when you're I'm not gonna do it all the way Facebook uh, YouTube don't get all upset but you see how even there um, it's already a huge improvement even when it's fully uh, inserted into the the chamber here it uh, it feels great it has a great great grip um, this is a, an awesome gun both of these are awesome uh, my next venture would be to get a uh, CX-4 Storm. Uh, it's, you know, I, I like that the clips are interchangeable. Uh, I don't know if the 13, if the 13 will fit into the full one. I think it will. Uh, I know that the, obviously the 17 round, oh yeah, look, it totally fit. The 17 round will fit into the small one. All these clips are 92, I think is what I heard from another YouTuber. Um, so they're all interchangeable. The CX-4 Storm Rifle, uh, you know, Google that, YouTube it, uh, it's awesome, futuristic looking gun, uh, really matches, I think, the, uh, the look of these, and, uh, that's gonna be the, the next purchase. Um, again, I, I, I said I wanted to do a short video, it's already been eight minutes, um, but I will do another video where we field strip it, uh, I can get more technical. Uh, I'll print out some information on it and uh, just uh, be more informative. Uh, again, as far as uh, the purchase, I'm very, very happy with both of these. Um, Bud's Gun Shop is where I purchased them from. Uh, brand new, uh, hadn't been used. Both came with two clips. Again, both clips got stolen, but they do originally come with two clips. Uh, 13 for the subcompact, 17 for the uh, full and uh, these are great pistols. Um, I really like them a lot. I don't know if they're everyday carry. Uh, this one probably more than the uh, full, but uh, they're they're really really great pistols. Okay, YouTube. I appreciate you watching. Uh, like my page. Um, I'm gonna try to do more videos, more reviews. I'll definitely do a follow up, uh, field strip cleaning, uh, all that information for these. But uh, like and subscribe to me. Thank you again, YouTube.